All right, let's deploy the air brake and close it. So you can see it closes all the way. So previously the cylinders used to sit right here and on the opposite side and you can even see the that hinge um, which I need to remove and move to the other side. So here, here's why putting the servo on the outer side of the, of the intake is important because now this space is completely clear. Um, and what I can do is then mount my tanks, Ugh, come on, sit properly. What I can then do is mount my tanks as far back, maybe even cut into this as possible, so that the fuel sits as close as possible to the CG mark right here. So, so I've started working on the uh, second uh, air brake. The first one is done. It's right there, and I'm hopefully going to show the entire process of assembling um, the server into this spot. So I have pulled off the control horn. It's right here. I have attached it to the new rod, and here is the assembly of what goes in, in there. So you have the two pieces of plywood to give it enough height to come up because I found that uh, that's the best way to avoid this uh, part of the control horn from interfering too much with um, the intake. Okay. I'm gonna power the servo now just so that it is in the open position and so I can secure it. Okay, so servo has power, you can see that move. Nothing is secured, I'm just trying to do a, a dry fit just to see where everything will go before it gets uh, glued down. So what I'm trying to do right now is uh, just open the second air brake and make sure that uh, make sure that when I position this one they line up correctly. Okay, so both air brakes are even. Uh, the camera angle is a little distorted, but if I line these up. Uh, here's a better tool. You can see that they're both pretty well lined up. And so that'll tell me where I'm going to glue uh, this control horn to. See if I can move the camera so you can see that much better. So, so I know I'm gonna have to glue this guy right around here, um, and the position that this gets glued uh, should match pretty closely where this guy got glued. So, those should roughly be in the same spot, and right now they seem to be. And I will just use CA to tack it in place for now, um, and I'll come back and deal with it once it's done. So. I'm going to get some CA, just tack it in place, so tack that piece of wood and that whole servo assembly to the fuselage just to see if I can actuate and if the gear, the sorry, the air brake does what I want. And if it does, I'm going to break that uh, CA, sand off the, um, the fuselage and the bottom of that wood piece and then put epoxy and let it cure overnight. So, let's actuate the servo. So that looks nice. Closes all the way. 
opens all the way, closes all the way, opens all the way. So that is very nice. I'm happy with that. Looks very similar to the other side. So all that's left to do now is uh, finalize the placement. So epoxy, uh, where's my pointing to? I'm gonna epoxy this in place right here. Epoxy that piece of wood onto the fuselage on the bottom and then prepare the top piece that's going to get epoxied right in close proximity to the servo to prevent rotation and then we're done. So the servo currently is secured by these uh, these two screws to a block of wood and these uh, let's see second point and then there's these two Hold on, let me reposition the camera real quick. Okay. So there are uh, two screws. So here's one, and there's another one on top. So one, two, and then three, four. So this block here is an L block. Um, and so to get the servo out, if you basically take these two screws out, this, that, and the servo, and there's another block on this side. Let me see if I can, if I can show. Let's see. Uh, there it is. You can see it. So that block there, um, those block, that's that stuff all can come out. So this entire piece can be serviced. But what this means is that right now the only point that's preventing this, um, sorry. It's preventing this uh, this part of this uh, end of the servo, so this end from coming up. There's nothing stopping it. So if the the torque is too much, this end could actually lift up. This end is actually held down by this point. So what I'm gonna do is uh, let's see, is that this piece of wood, and you can see there's a relief there, and this is flat. So I'm gonna put epoxy in here and on the back and on a little bit on the on the top here and what that's gonna do is secure that just like that actually I think um, the servo wire I'm going to pull it out of here so I'm gonna just bring it all the way uh, around because I want that servo to be able to come out if I need to. So now the servo wire kind of hides behind the servo and goes underneath this plate on the back side. So here's a piece of wood. Here, this black carbon fiber here. This is black. That's the bulkhead. So if I epoxy this to the bulkhead and then this to this part of the fuselage and the back side but not the bottom so that the servo doesn't actually get epoxy to this but this acts as a stopper so now the servo cannot rotate upwards this in in sort of in that direction and it is held in place but if I want to take this out so what I'd have to do is take off that screw and that screw and then the servo plus this L bracket and the other piece that is attached to here all can come out and be serviced and I can put it back and this piece will stay in place so I'm going to epoxy that and the key here is to make sure that this actually pushes down on the servo to sort of like you know lock it in place like that um, and then that'll be done um, I have already cut uh, the relief holes so let me see if I can show you what those what those are so you can see that right there so that's where I will access um, these two screws so you can see my pointer through there so if I want to service I'll just I can go in here and reach those two screws to undo the servo what I'd like to do is show the process um, of removing uh, one of the uh, air brake servos in the event that I needed to do some maintenance. Um, 
And anyway, this is how I did it. So I figured I'd, you know, show it because this was sort of difficult to do. So maybe this can help someone. So what I do in this case is just get my hex wrench, take out this, uh, this, this screw, and that'll release the, um, the air brake from the, the lever here. So let's do that. Kind of looks like that, and that's just a that's a M2 uh, metric. Uh, let's see if we can focus on it. Uh, that's better. Uh, not quite, but it's just an M2 screw. I'm gonna put that away, and now this can come apart. We can see that the screws. You can only see one, but I can access both of them. So here's one, I can access that guy, and I can access the second one. So, uh, let's take those out. Alright. So I picked up the screw that I dropped, so here they are, the two of them. And now... With those screws taken out, let's zoom in there. You can see that all, all that I now need to do is reach in there and the servo is loose. So you just grab it and you can take it out and that's it. Okay, so now to insert the servo back, I basically uh, just take the servo, insert it back in its uh, in its nice slot there. I gotta make sure that that cable is still accessible or out of the way. So I'm gonna use that. There we go. Okay, so the servo is in its slot, kind of. I'm gonna put it in place. Just like that. And then time to put the screws back. So the screws go in those holes. That's one screw in. I'm gonna insert the second one, just uh, get it through the cutout. And there she goes. Done. I'm gonna get my M2 my metric screw. Can I release this a little bit? The tape on top of the air brake, just so I can get the arm in place. We just screw that M2 back in place. There's threads on the other end of the plastic uh, servo horn. And we're done. And so that's it. So now you can see maintenance is quite easy. I'm just gonna, and that closes all the way, opens back up, closes all the way. Again, pain in the butt, but it works and leaves my center clear for the, the fuel tanks to move as far back over the CG as possible.